hope everyone's having a good day. I thought I would jump on here today to um, answer another frequently asked question I get about our neighbors. Um, what do our neighbors think about our six dogs? Do any of our neighbors ever complain about our six dogs? <laughs> and to be quite honest with you, when we moved into this house, because if you've noticed, if you watch my videos, and if you've noticed, um, if I take video of me driving uh, through the neighborhood, the houses are quite close together in this neighborhood. And when we first moved here, I worried about it quite frequently. When we first moved here, we only had four dogs, and we've added two since we've been here. Um, well, first of all, I'll say that my husband and I are quite neighborly. Um, we try to get to know our neighbors, um, and so we have, we've, we've gotten to know the two neighbors on the side and the one across the street quite well. Um, we have talked to one of the neighbors behind us. My husband actually mowed his lawn for him a couple times because he has health problems. Um, he has no problems with our dogs. He says he rarely hears them because the, the neighbor behind us over this way and this neighbor here to the right on the side of us. Their windows always are shut. I never noticed their windows being open, even in the summertime when the weather's nice. They seem to always have their windows shut. So that probably muffles out the sign of, or the sound of when my boys are barking. Uh, but this neighbor to the right and this neighbor to the left of us on the sides here, we've asked them, do our dogs drive you crazy when they're barking? Please let us know if they are. You know, um, and they always tell us, we don't even really notice them. Which I don't know how they can't but to be fair um, when my boys are barking I don't let them bark for hours I don't even try I don't even try to like let them bark for even a couple of minutes if I can try I try to calm them down um, it's kind of hard if there's squirrels out there but usually that's during the day and most people are off to work um, so most of the time the neighbors around me are off to work and not even home during the day so they're not even hearing that during the day. But I do not let my boys just bark their heads off for continuously to where someone would get annoyed because I would get annoyed by that. So if you live in a neighborhood where your neighbors are close, don't let your dogs bark for hours. Be courteous. <laughs> it would drive me crazy if I had to hear these dogs barking for hours. Um, but anyways, my neighbors, she, she kind of keeps her windows shut most of the time too. Um, even in the summer. So maybe I've been lucky that way that most of the neighbors around me have their windows shut all the time. Me, if it's nice out, my windows are wide open. Um, and then the neighbor that's kind of this way, because we have one behind us over here and then one over here. Two neighbors that kind of butt up behind us in the back. Um, really haven't talked to them too much, but they have a little dog. And that dog is the one, uh, the reason why I have extra fencing up in the backyard to keep them away from the main fencing because they would just go at it running along the bottom there. Oh, oh my goodness, it drove me crazy. <laughs> drove me crazy. So we put some extra fencing so they can't get right up close and personal with that dog. So I haven't talked to him, but I was out there one day and I heard him open a sliding door because that's the that's a bad thing about this neighborhood too being so close you can hear everything I mean even when we're sitting around our fire pit in the back if there's certain things we're talking about that are kind of personal we wish we have to kind of whisper and keep our voices down in this neighborhood because you know if somebody's outside in their backyard they're probably gonna hear you so that's one reason I can't wait to move <laughs> I want I want to be able to talk or, or and do whatever and people aren't gonna hear me you know Anyways, I heard him open his sliding door, let his dog out, and I heard him go, go get him. So, <laughs> he, he, his dog loves to run that fence, too, and barks like crazy for my boys, too. And So, to me, that makes me think that he really don't care because he knows his dog enjoys running that fence line with my dogs, too. So, and they don't leave their dog out long because um, they don't have a totally fenced yard there. So, when I heard him say, go get him, I knew he knows his dogs have fun too, running around with my boys. Anyways, but thank goodness we have basic, it's not a chain link fence. Um, thank goodness it's not a chain link fence. That's all I got to say because they would, they would be barking even more. So, um, yeah, but our neighbors, they've all, nobody's ever complained. I told them if my dogs ever get on your nerves or a shift change happens with your job and you got to be sleeping during the day, Please tell me because I don't want my dogs bothering you. 
So be a good neighbor that way. And we try to be good neighbors too. My husband helped um, his uh, this neighbor over here, him and his kids were out trying to rake some leaves and it was just, they'd get a ton of leaves in their yard. He went over and helped blow their leaves for them in piles. Um, he's helped um, shovel and snow blow. This year we have a snow blower. Snow blow neighbor's yards. Help out when you can, if you can, uh, with your neighbors and be friendly with your neighbors. That way you have an open line of communication if there is a problem you feel like you can say something and they can say something to you too let them know please tell me um say you have young kids please tell me if my kids are being out of line or they're they're doing something that you really don't like um yeah so just be good be, be good neighbors to each other and if you're good neighbors to someone they're going to be good neighbors back so yeah so none of my neighbors mind my boys um the only neighbor that's actually met them is the neighbor over here and then a couple doors down because they're, I believe it's the husband's mom has a schnauzer. So when they see them, us walking our dogs, they, you know, told, you know, that those are schnauzers. My mom has one and they wanted to meet our dogs. So the neighbor next door and a couple doors down have met them. So, and they love them and they, I just, I can't believe they're telling me they don't hear them. I don't believe that, but... <laughs> They have to hear them sometimes because these boys are loud. Yes, you are. But like I said, I don't let them bark forever. Um, I try to keep them under control. So so I hope that answers the um, questions. I get that quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go give these boys a bath because they're quite dirty. And I need to clean their um, bedding and their crates because it's nasty because it's been so muddy out. We got freezing rain last night. I've got to go outside and try to use one of those shovels like the um square shovels with the straight edge on the bottom and try to chisel that off my front porch it's terrible the roads are decent though um they've got the roads pretty much cleaned up it's just our sidewalk and then our uh path to our front door i need to get cleaned up so okay guys i hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video bye bye Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here real quick to um, answer. I had a couple comments about uh, my last video um, that I just uploaded Tuesday that people noticed um, one of the dogs was limping. So I looked back and I was like, I bet you they saw Max. And I know I have a lot of new subscribers who may not know that Max a couple years ago had a spinal stroke where he lost the ability to move his um, back right leg. So if you see him limping, it is that back right leg that he has not, he never re uh, regained full use of that back leg. So he has a slight limp. So just wanted to get on here and let anybody who's a new subscriber um, know that. So if you notice him limping, it was due to a spinal stroke he had a couple years ago. Okay. Just wanted to get that out there. Bye-bye.